All right, 5 a.m. Good morning, everybody. Thursday, unfortunately, I'm coming out of the gate with a big time red Ooh. alert. So let's get right to the roads right now. Our photographer, Stephen Boise, is right on top of this crash that was quite dramatic when you put it all together. Let's get to his shot right now. And we'll show you what we're talking about because right now we're still kind of in a temporary closure on the downtown connector. As you can see here, the police activity continues. It started with a vehicle that was coming off that Buford Spring connector, managed to flip itself over onto that cement guardrail there. Look at this right here where this car went down the embankment there, thus shutting down the 75 northbound ramp from the connector northbound. That's been closed off for quite some time now, but they are making progress. They're getting ready to reopen this. In fact, any minute now they should have this reopened. Let's get to the maps and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about here and where we are because we're talking the connector northbound, the ramps to I-75 northbound. That's been closed. They also shut down the 75 southbound ramp to 85 North, basically right there in the heart of the Brookwood split. As you see a lot of red and the black indicator showing those lanes are closed. Now, if you're coming up from the south side on the connector northbound, you can easily jump off 85 North at 400. If you're coming down 75 South, get off at North Side Drive. But I have a feeling as the sky tracker showing here, they just had that ramp blocked. It looks like they're restarting everything. Hopefully by my next report, it'll all be open again. All right, Chesley, uh, 11 yesterday on the wasometer and you're promising us a repeat.